Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. All together, let us pray the prayer for protection. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen to my words, O Lord, and hear my sighs. Listen to my cry for help, my God and my King. I pray to you, O Lord. You hear my voice in the morning. At sunrise, I offer my prayer and wait for your answer. You are not a God who is pleased with wrongdoing. You allow no evil in your presence. You cannot stand the sight of the proud. You hate all wicked people. You destroy all liars and despite violent, deceitful people. But because of your great love, I come into your house and can worship in your holy temple and bow down to you in reverence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, grade 10. We are now in our quarter 3, module number 1, for our school year 2021 to 2022. So meaning to say we are already in our third quarter. And our first topic will be circles and coordinate geometry. Mamari, Mam Doors, and Mam Celine will be your teachers for this quarter. For our module number one, we will be discussing theorems about chords and circles. Remember, class, that in a plane geometry, a chord is the line segment joining two points on a curve. The term is often used to describe a line segment whose ends lie on a circle. So we will have an example. We have here a regular hexagon. B E A U T Y is inscribed in circle Q. Okay, so when we say inscribe, the hexagon is inside circle Q. So remember in our past lesson, we named the the circle according to the point on its center. So now let us find the measure of angle BQE. So where is angle BQE? We will be finding the measure of angle BQE. This is B. Don't forget to trace para alam nyo kung ano yung isusog natin. BQE. This is also in your book. No? This is also in your book. So I decided to Discuss what is in your book. So what's for you to to understand more since we do not have face-to-face -face classes? Okay, so how do we do that? So a regular hexagon has six congruent sides since it is a regular hexagon. The term is regular. So we have a six congruent sides. So regular congruent sides hexagon is a polygon with six so thus, uh, therefore, the chords BE. So where is BE? BE, TA, AU, UT, TY, and YB are all congruent. And since congruent chords determine congruent central angles. So, lesson na po natin dati to. So, congruent ito. Ano kaya ang ibig sabihin nito? Ano kaya yung kanyang uh, measure ng BQE. Remember that BQE is, is a central angle. Okay? So, from the center siya o central angle. So, we have now the measure of angle BQE. Hanapin natin. So, 360. Bakit 360 degrees? Kasi nga po, ang sukat ng isang buong circle is 360 degrees. Divided by 6. Bakit divided by 6? Dahil sa we have a regular hexagon and has six congruent sides. So, divide lang ating kapatid. Therefore, we have... Okay. So, to continue, in fact, each angle measures 60 degrees. Totoo yan. Kasi kung ang isa dito, ang ating central angle dito ay 60 degrees, 60 degrees then lahat. Kahit sabihin pa natin ng EQA. Kasi nga, we have six congruent sides. Using the same example, let us now find the measure of arc TA. So, where is arc TA? Okay, tingnan natin. So, since TA is formed by two arcs TU, so this is TU and UA. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ito or ito yung uh, pinapahanap sa atin. 
Ito yung arc T A. So, curve po yan ha, kasi siya arc. Okay? Since is central angle measure 60 degrees na soob natin kanina, each intercepted arc also measures 60 degrees. So, so lahat, ibig sabihin daw ito, lahat ng intercepted arc, ito ay 60 degrees. 60 degrees by the arc addition postulate. So, uh, let us recall, what is the arc addition postulate? Remember that the arc addition postulate says that the measure of the arc Okay. formed by two adjacent arc is the sum of the measures of the two arc. So, ibig lang sabihin, hahanapin natin yung measure ng TA, ipag-add mo daw yung TU, arc TU, and arc UA. Right. So, the measure of arc TU plus the measure of um, arc QA, 60 plus 60, na-discuss na, na po natin kanina yan. So, bakit siya 60? Is equal to 120 degrees. So, I hope this is very clear. This is very simple actually. Okay, given the example and still using our one beauty, is which is inscribed in circle Q, and we found out the measure of angle BQA and the measure of arc TA. So, what are the key concepts that concept that we have given or we have proven with this figure first congruent chords in a circle determine congruent central angles and of course congruent chords in a circle determine congruent arcs so in our example number two we are to find the radius of circle o if gm this one chord gm is equal to 24. So, wala siyang nilagay na units. So, we just call it units. Okay? 24 and segment OP from the center is equal to 5. Okay? So, what will be our solution? Let us, we have to draw the radius OM. Lagyan natin yan siya. Okay? So, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng uh, triangle O. PM. At nakita ninyo, from the center, it, perpendicular po kasi yan siya. So, pag perpendicular, automatic right angle yon. So, and therefore, our triangle OPM is a right triangle. May symbol po yan siya doon. Okay? So, since OP, segment OP, and segment is perpendicular to segment GM. So, ang basa po dito, perpendicular. Yeah, okay? So, what we'll be having now, we will have PM, nasan yung PM? Kalahati, okay? Is equal to one half ng GM. Kita nyo naman no, from the center, so may chord siya. Ang PM, ang measure daw ng PM is equal to kalahati ng GM. And therefore, one half of GM. GM here is given as 24. And therefore, PM is equal to 12. Okay, so pero radius yung hinahanap natin. So what's next? Pythagorean theorem is a very important theorem in order to to um, solve no the the radius of circle O. So bakit? Kasi po nakapag gawa tayo dito ng uh, naka ano tayo dito nakagawa tayo ng isang right triangle. So a Pythagorean theorem says that the sum of the squares on the legs, okay, is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. Ito po yung hypotenuse natin. These are the legs. Okay? At ang hypotenuse po natin is the side opposite the right angle. Kita nyo po yung symbol doon. So, kung nararecall ninyo, dati ang ginagamit ni teacher dyan ay C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So, pansin nyo, balik na yung pagkakasulat dito, pero parehas lang po ang ibig sabihin niya. Okay? The square of the sum of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse, the measure of the hypotenuse. So, what now? So, um, by Pythagorean theorem, we can now determine OM. So, palitan nyo lang po. Ang OM natin is ito. No, yung hypotenuse. So, as is po siya. Ito yung C. Okay? Hypotenuse siya. The legs are OP and PM. So, doing the Pythagorean theorem, our OM is 13. Okay? So, 
that the radius of circle O is 13 units. So in mathematics, it is very much important that you write the unit of measure. So since hindi naman ito nilagay sa given natin, centimeters or meters, unit lang acceptable na po yan. So from this previous example, our key concept is the perpendicular drawn from the center of a circle to a chord bisects the chord. For our example number 3, it is given that the radius of circle P is 5 units. If segment EF is equal to 6 and segment AR is equal to 3, how far is point P from segment EF? So for our solution, a segment that is perpendicular to a chord bisects the chord. So AB now is equal to 2AR. So AB here is equal to 2AR because uh, we know that this segment bisected segment AB and therefore AR is equal to RB, meaning to say the whole segment AB is equal to twice the measure of the segment AR, right? And therefore, since we have 2 times 3, we already have 6. Therefore, our AB is equal to 6 units. And since EF is equal to AB, this one, EF is equal to AB, therefore, EF is congruent to AB. So they are equal, they are congruent. Therefore, EF and AB must have the same distance. So the distance of AB must be the same with the distance of EF from point P. So the distance of AB from P must also must also be the distance of P from EF. As such, we have to need to find PR. So we have drawn our radius here. Radius AP or segment AP. And now we have made triangle A rp which is a right triangle so again like just the previous example we will be using the Pythagorean theorem to find segment p r recall that our ap is equal to 2 5 okay so since sabi dito the radius of circle p is 5 units so since ap is a radius therefore ap is 5 units so how do we use the Pythagorean theorem okay the square of the hypotenuse AP is equal to the sum of the squares of the legs PR and AR. So substitute the values 5 squared minus 3 squared that is 25 minus 9 is 16. Therefore, PR is 4 units away from EF. So what is our key concept here? Remember that congruent chords are equidistant from the center of the circle. So not to lengthen this lesson, this uh, this video, I will be making another video for theorems about seconds and circles. So you wait for the link in your BLMS for theorems about seconds and circles. So what will be your, what will you answer for our module one for quarter three? Three parts. Or three activities. Stretching activity, you have to answer this one. Tignan nyo pong maigi yan sa inyong um, textbook, no? Math plus 10. Okay, for our show, you know, answer, practice, concept, and skills, items 33 and 34 only. So, problem solving, so you have five points. For our beyond the lesson, the distance formula and the midpoint formula, again, we will be sending another link for this topic. This is already beyond the lesson, the distance formula and the midpoint formula. So be sure to watch uh, the two videos aside from this video that will be that the link will be uh, provided to you in your BLMS in, in your group chat. So thank you so much and God bless everyone.